Hey everyone, Christopher Hoffman here, and today I'm going to be talking about 3D scanning and how you can start 3D scanning at home and then turn those 3D scans into 3D printable objects, which you can print on your 3D printer. So first I'm going to talk about the 3D scanner. Right here I have a Kinect for Xbox 360, and I really like these because since the Xbox One came out, the Xbox 360 Connects are really cheap. You can get them at almost any pawn shop for like $20 or $30. It's great. It's really high quality. You can also use the Connect for Windows Live. Um, if you have the Xbox 360 Connect, you will need the power adapter so that you can hook it up to your computer. As for software, I'm using a program called Scanect. Scanect has both a free and paid version. The free version is what I'm using, and it works amazingly. There's only a few limitations, such as the number of faces that it can export and the file types it can export. But for scanning a face and 3D printing it, the free version will work just fine. It has tons of features. You can scan bodies, objects, rooms, and half rooms. And basically what this does is it changes the bounding box um, that it will scan in. For a body, you'd obviously want body. Um, and then you just set the path, and then you can start scanning. On the right-hand side of the screen is the view from the Xbox Connect. Up top is the RGB camera, and to the right of that is the infrared camera, giving the depth of field information. On the bottom, Scanect is going to color the object it thinks is in focus, so you want to make sure that is correct. Then you click record, and you can start recording. This program takes a lot of CPU power in order to do the scanning and turn it into a 3D model. So my screen capture program didn't, couldn't record while I was scanning. But you just slowly move the Xbox Connect completely around the object, making sure to scan on top of the head. And then once it's fully scanned, it's going to render it into the 3D object. Once the scan is complete, it will show you the 3D mesh that it's created from that scan. And you can see here how detailed these scans can get, even with a cheap first generation Xbox 360 Connect. Once you think that the object captured correctly, you can move on to further processing. And here is that scan with the color rendered on top of it. The free version will not export the color, but the paid version will. And you can see just how much detail can be captured with the Xbox Connect. Once you're done, you can export this as an STL and run it through your 3D printer. And these are the final results. The scan quality is absolutely incredible, even with the free version, with only exporting 5,000 faces. You can see that it's you can recognize the person that's printed, and I think that's really awesome. And it even does a pretty good job with recognizing hair and picking up all of the, the minute details of hair. And I think that's pretty cool itself. So there you go. 3D scanning at home, using nothing more than some free software and a uh, cheap connect. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Thank you for watching Hoffman Engineering.